Hi everyone, welcome to Poetology. A few months ago, I made a video about how I write and why I write first thing in the morning. And at the time, I was using a Hobonichi Techo notebook like this one to write each morning for a few minutes. You should have a look at that video. It explains the process and why I chose to do that. However, Sometimes we may not want to write absolutely every day or circumstances prevent us from having a regular time in the day dedicated to that, but we still want to keep a regular writing practice. And this will be the case for me now on my holiday. I'm going away for a week and I want to write, but I don't want to have specific constraints about when I should write and how I should do it because I'll be on holiday and I just want to enjoy myself and be a bit more spontaneous. And recently I have a new favorite poetry notebook, which is this. So this is a traveler's notebook insert. The traveler's notebook is well known. There are so many videos you can check out if you're interested on YouTube. It's a Japanese notebook where basically you get different inserts like these, that you can put together with an elastic and tie into a big thick book like this one where you then get several different notebooks for different purposes and they're pretty great and they have something called besides and rarities and they put out this cover which is not actually a cover it's meant to be inside the notebook but i use it as a cover it's a little pocket with a zip on one side and the other side has space where you can put different things, papers, bits and pieces, and it's in waxed cotton. I promise I am not sponsored for this. Um, I really love it and I've decided to use it as a cover in itself so that I have a smaller notebook that I can take with me with just one insert inside. And the insert I like to use is the lightweight paper in blank. That's how I write a lot of poetry. I put lines on this and little notes and ideas and that's how I keep everything together and then I have something to refer to when I want to write a longer poem or sometimes this sparks a longer poem and I write it in here or draft it at least before moving to the laptop. I really like writing by hand especially at first although sometimes after a few lines I have more ideas and I just move to the computer but usually handwriting is what sparks ideas. Also, I've always written using fountain pens. That's how I learned to write at school and I never got out of the habit. So I think that's largely why I seek out notebooks that work really well with fountain pens. Whatever works for you and sometimes the simpler, the better. The system I use is still basically the same. I might have an idea that pops into my head and I write it down immediately or as soon as I can into this notebook. If I don't have it with me, I'll write the note on my phone and then transfer it later. Usually I write phrases and lines. It's rarely entire poems. I usually need a separate time to come back to it and write longer poems. During my holiday, I'm not necessarily planning to write longer poems, but because I'll be in a different place, in a different situation, I'm hoping that new images and ideas will be there and it would be a bit of a shame if I didn't think of writing at all during that time because it could spark new things instead of my usual routine, seeing similar things over and over again. So I hope a change of scene is good. So my idea is, while on holiday, to have this with me pretty much at all times and several times a day, to think about it and take it out and jot down a few lines or ideas or images or descriptions, whatever is going on internally or externally, and to make it more of an ingrained habit while I'm away. So if you want to try it, my recommendations are to have something on you at all times that you can use for writing and use these little moments between things. Think about all these tiny pockets of time when you have, you know, one minute to just write something down as opposed to bigger chunks of time. There are some holidays that can be structured around writing and that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about a busy holiday where you're trying to steal some time 
to write down ideas that you've had. Please let me know how you write on an everyday basis, but also whether you try to integrate some of your writing projects into your holidays. And let me know what your favorite poetry notebook is. I look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.